To the able care of God, this program. Say, Father, do that which you know how to do on this program. Have a Father, come down by your power in this program. Come and be the ownership of this program. Be the head of this program. Have we invite the presence of the Most High God this hour? We cannot do without Him. Holy Spirit of the Most High God, Father, we are calling upon you. Hand on we are calling upon you this one. Come down by your mercy. Father, come down by your infinite mercy. Come and have your way. Father, have your way. Holy Spirit, come and dwell in our service. Holy Spirit, come and dwell in this program this hour. We are calling upon you. Be the head of this program. We make you the head of this program this hour. Come and have your way. Do on you join our service. In Jesus, most wonderful name we pray. Amen. Amen. We are that you are too much full of us. Had I been that way exalted. In Jesus, most powerful name we pray. Amen. Amen. We open the service in the name of God the Father. Amen. And of the Son. Amen. And of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Youth, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Now, next on our list, Mama, thank you for this, spe this special prayer. May God increase you more in Jesus' name. Now, we have no much time in our side. I will be calling in some special people on the eye table. It's no other person than our Mommy, the Lord. Blessing, Emmanuel. Mommy, the Lord. A round of applause for Mommy, the Lord. Next on our list is still our Mommy that led the special prayer session no other person than the senior pastor of god of evidence bible church pastor sources mama we welcome you mama come mama come mama we welcome you on the night table please we don't have much time we don't have much time we don't have much time um youth in the house praise the lord and the next on our list short praise and worship bow ella gospel Ella Gospel, please come on stage. Begin to glorify his name. Amen. Just worship him. I want us to be in the mood of worship. Begin to hallow the name of Jehovah. Begin to see reasons why you need to praise him. Just worship him. Bless his holy name. For he is mighty. He is worthy. His mercy endureth forever. He's a great and mighty God. Just worship Him. Just bless His holy name. How excellent is Your name, O Lord. How excellent is Your name. How excellent is your name 
How excellent is your name How excellent is your name Oh Lord How excellent is your name How excellent is your name How excellent is your name Jehovah, Melio, O Melio, 
ready to praise God? Yes. Hallelujah. You in the house, are you ready to praise God? Yes, sir. You are God. You are not just people. You are not just natural. You are a great God. You are God. You are not just people. You are not just little. You are a great God. Yes, you are God.
Praise the Lord. Uh, next on our list, offering by Mommy Gio. Offering by Mommy Gio. Raise that offering up above your head. After this encounter of today's program, their life never remained the same in the name of Jesus. They will have something that whatever they remember, they will say, God, I've done this. And this thing was answered at a particular date, a particular date, a particular month. Lord, so shall live in their life in the name of Jesus. For in Jesus' name we pray. you for whom you are. Thank you for a day like this. We have come together as a youth to learn from you. That will pray, Lord, I speak to us the language that we understand. Be the teacher. Let us be the hearer. And let's be the hearer and the doer of your word. And at the end, your name and glory be glorified forever. Thank you, shaken and glory. In Jesus' name, we have the cray. Amen. Amen. Let the living so shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Have your seats. You are all welcome in Jesus' name. I want to appreciate every one of you that made it possible to be here. Like I said, we have spent so much time. And I want to thank you for as many of you that is following us online. Now for that is following us on YouTube and on WhatsApp. I can see some people are here. God bless you all in Jesus' name. I may not have that time to really introduce you as proper. But because of our time, uh, we are about to ask so many questions. Like I said, because of we started very late. If it's possible, we ask five to six questions. And God will help us in Jesus' name. This very uh, message, you can get it on audio and video. It's going to be on YouTube, so try. If you don't get anything here, try to listen very well on YouTube. God bless you in Jesus' name. I want to quickly unleash some secrets to us in relationship. Somebody say relationship. Like I said, if you are married, this program is for you. If you are not married, this program is for you. Married now or relationship now is not the relationship our parents entered. It's not the marriage our brothers, our forefathers married. No. If you can attend to yourself, when our forefathers, our daddies, where they were taken to our mommy then, it's under cashew nut. You remember? If they tell you through, they're not going to tell you through. Or some of them, farm road. Some of them, back of school, where they don't, where children don't close on school, they'll just hide. But now, the relationship we enter, and even our parents will even see us. They will say, that is my friend. Yes, as bold as nothing. We don't have any fear. And that is why now it looks as if relationship is now more difficult. You see somebody gets married in the morning, break up in the evening. You get a new relationship in the morning before afternoon. You throw the boy, throw the girl. Why? That is why this meeting is being organized. But let me quickly shock you. If you want to reduce weight, if you are looking for a timey death, don't go and buy a tapia pia. Don't go and buy, uh, what is it called? This is the Kirat. Sniper. Don't go and buy sniper. 
just fall in love with the wrong person. You will die young. If you fall in love with the wrong person, your life is useless. If you fall in love with the wrong person, no matter how beautiful you are, no matter how handsome you are, you, people that know you, they'll be asking you whether you carry HIV. And the funniest thing about when you fall in love with the wrong person, the person will be looking good, you'll be looking haggard. That is just the funniest thing. When you fall in love with the wrong person, because the person will not actually have you the way you have him or her. The person may not actually be thinking of you the way you are thinking of him or her. But you that fall in love, you are dying. You want to know where she is. You want to know where what he's doing. You are just dying. If you fall in love with the wrong person, just get ready to die on time. In fact, even the scientist has even told us that when you fall in love with the wrong person, it will reduce your lifespan. I might tell you somebody here. Let like us say I'm talking story. I'm not telling you stories. The mentality of Nigerian women, whether small or big, that as far as they are dating you or as far as they marry you, you will die first before them. I might tell you somebody here. That is the mentality of Nigerian women. You will die. My husband will die first. Leave me and my children. We will enjoy the house and the merriment. But I pray for somebody here. You will not die without achieving your dreams. I say you will not die without achieving your dreams. But if you fall in love with the real partner, two of you, you enjoy your life. The man will be growing tummy. The woman will be looking good. I told my church members sometimes ago, the best couple in life is the couple you can do amiable with. If your partner is not a partner you can talk to and confide in, it's not a good partner. I might tell you somebody here. Your partner is somebody you can do amiable with. The best husband and wife, the best husband and wife is amiable that kid in marriage. Amiable. They talk, they share each other feelings, and they kill it there. Proverbs 13, 20. Proverbs 13, 20. The Bible said, He that walketh with wise men shall be wise. But a companion of fools shall be what? Shall be what? Shall be destroyed. He that walketh with a wise man, he that walketh with a wise woman, is wise. We are talking about relationship. There's a some of us before we can able to get married or find a man or a woman in our life. We are finding it very difficult. Because we are not actually see the right person. Every lady that has come our way, every mother, woman that has come our way, or mother come our way, oh, let's break our heart, destroy our heart, pieces it. If we have time, I will tell you why. Permit me, I want to talk about things you should avoid in relationship. Things you do, should do what? Things you must do? Avoid in relationship. Relationship is a prison. Marriage is a prison. If you enter, you don't enter. Once you enter, you have entered. If you never marry, you are free. Once you are married, you are no more free. it was better and manageable if the one that you can manage you eventually find yourself in there your marriage will be better but the one you cannot marry you find yourself in there when the woman finally get back to one or two the marriage will be broken but i will tell you some checkpoint but today i will not go far because of time let me quickly drop three 
Then you can continue your others online if you are with us on social media. Three keys you must get prepared with. Three things you must have in the back of your mind as you are growing up. Number one, marriage is not your destiny. Tell anybody, say, marriage is not your destiny. I want you to pay attention. I know many of you say, what kind of talk is this? Marriage is not my destiny. Why are we saying, go and marry, go and marry? I will tell you. Marriage has never been anybody's destiny. God has never created you to go and marry. In fact, God is not interested in what? Hello? God is not interested in what? Marriage is meant for, we created marriage. It's not God. God did not create marriage. At all. It is man that creates marriage. The Bible says when Adam created, uh, when God created Adam and Eve, God created Adam. The first Adam was, the first Eve was needed, the first wife. You know, Adam married two wives. The first one left because she fed, she and Adam are mates. That is why the question that came in some, some time ago, all women cannot marry. It's not every man that is mature to marry. It is not all women that are born to marry. But everybody are made as a helper to each other. Are you getting something tonight? Everybody cannot marry. Everybody are not created to marry. But everybody are made as a what? As a helper. Once you come across these things, that say one, marriage is not your destiny, then you begin to realize those are the dangers you must come across. When you enter into a relationship, God has never created you. Say, go and marry this man, go and marry this woman. That is why, any time, at times, when you ask God, that it is the man I want to marry, God will keep you quiet. He will keep you quiet. He will not answer you. Because you don't want to be involved. Three, two things I will tell you today that God is not interested in marriage and politics. Somebody say, marriage and politics. God is not interested. That's why in our churches today, you say a man of God just stand up. It is a uh, uh, Yaradua that will win. If Yaradua does not win, I am no more pastor. And at the end, Yaradua will not win. But he's still the main pastor. God not to play game. God is not into game. Marriage is a game. But after you get married, you will not introduce God to your marriage. You will accept it. God is not interested in marriage. Marriage cannot take you to heaven. On the day of judgment, marriage, God will not tell you, eh, come, you are welcome, my son, my daughter. Uh, where is your wife? I asked you to go to the world and multiply. And you know marry. Go to hell. It's a big lie. That multiply, God is asking you to go to the world. It's number one, get your vision. Number two, get your purpose. Number three, develop your heart. Bless the world. You have not blessed any word. Nobody has ever felt an impact in your life. You go marry. You cut short your purpose in life. You never did anything God asked you to do. And at the end, you die. Though I think God will ask you. Son, I created you to go to the world and invent pure water without bottle. Then what did you go to the world to do? It's somebody that invented this. Do you believe that? Somebody invented this. This is one of the purpose of God in our life. Marriage is never ordained for any man. Man ordained marriage for himself. Genesis chapter 1 verse 26 to 29. The Bible said, let us make man in our own image have dominion 
Have what? What is dominion? What is dominion? Taking over territories. Have a dominion. In anything that you do, Bible never said, let us make man in our own image. Let them marry. And be good to born. No, no, no. And that's why at times, if you use your hand and choose the one woman that will kill you or the man that will kill you, God will leave you. God is not interested. He's not interested. He will leave you. You will pray and 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 pray, but He's not interested. Because He never chooses anyone for you. Now use your hand, carry him. So whatever you see there, you do it. You take. In my church, I don't preach the verse. But many pastors preach it. If the man won't kill you, do a thing. Do a thing. Run. Me, I go tell you, say, go there. Because when that man, they take you to Shawarma, they buy you uh, all the choppy, choppy, choppy. Nobody is there. Now, wait, it's not bad. Now, now you want to move. Okay, matter, you go there. You say your wife is a demon. Your wife is a witch. That time, you do not follow her like lizard. Wait, one go do something. You don't know, say that time, now witch. Marriage is not. Your destiny. God has created us to have dominion, to live and to occupy. You are not created of marriage, or you are not created because of marriage. Marriage is created because of you. Nobody is born because I gave birth to you, go and give birth, or I created you to go and. Born. No, 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 no. Marriage is created because of you. Anyone that has so much zeal, ah, I am getting old. I want to get married. Oh, this they have, this they have. God is not even interested. If you find yourself in a wrong partner, that's how your life will be a casualty until Jesus Christ come. Your life can never be straight. Once you marry the wrong person in your life. Once you fall in love with the wrong person in your life. And that's why before you must go into a relationship with all the world called marriage, you must open your eye. Tell your neighbor, say, shine your eye. You must shine your eye. Somebody that is beside you, you don't know if the person carry HIV. Did you know? Did you know? That's how marriage is. You will not know that person until you get inside. You will see that beautiful guy. You look like angel. To talk is a problem. Let her get married. You will see that young man. Before he will open your mouth to greet you, is a problem. Let him get married. That is the final bus stop. As a marriage counselor for years, I have discovered that the people that is having a problem in marriage today, they use their hand to draw it. Yes. There is time for everything. Any man, any woman that makes it in life, two things involved. Either the man that is beside you, the woman that is beside you is a happy hand that help you. That's why it's so sweet. If you look at our mothers today, most of them they have dreams to become lawyer. Nurse, big person, but because they get married to the wrong person, they end up as a what? They end up as a what? Housewife, they will cook soup, tire. And let me tell you, young people, this time around, never get married to any man or any woman that have nothing to do, you will suffer. Any woman you want to get married to that don't have something that will support you, you will suffer. Any man that is believing in God, I believe God, don't worry, I believe God. I believe God. By, by this time next year, things should be better. Many of our mommies today, it is I believe in God that keep them married today. I believe it will change. Marriage has never created for, to support anybody or to make anybody better in life. But marriage is created to make your lineage to be remembered. 
That's what it's married is good for. Who is he? Who is she? The son or a daughter of Mr. Okonkwo. So that if you are no longer there, somebody can continue where you stop. That's the only place marriage is good. Apart from that, marriage is not your destiny. Point number two. Because of time. Love is not enough in relationship. Love is not what? Enough in relationship. Oh, I love this man. Oh, I love this girl. If I don't marry this girl, I go die. If I don't marry this man, I go die. Why? I love her. I love him. That man and that woman you love now, a time will come, that love will expire. That beauty you see in her, that fine shape you see in him, one day it will do what? Expire. In the spices of relationship, love is just one of them. You know, every one of you that cooks stew, you will buy mangi, abi. Buy crayfish, buy turkey, buy everything. That's a love is one of the things in relationship. If you love a man and marry a man because you love him, you love a woman because you love the woman, you marry her. One day, that love will get soured. Tell neighbor, say neighbor, love is not enough. Always have time for yourself. These are mommies, they are married. If you cool down as a young man, as a young woman, on your own time, the wedding hall they use, you will be better than their own. Am I talking to somebody here? The time they did wedding, their wedding gown, you get as a be. They are suits. Now that they wear, now suit they wear, they not be that they wear suit. Our time now, how far? Now we they do it in. Body fitted. So if you hold on and wait patiently for your own time, when you get married to the right man, to the right woman, you will find out that marriage is not, love is not enough in relationship. There are so many things that will danger or that will garnish that your love. If you wait for the right man, if you wait for the right woman, your wedding cake will be better than everybody's own. Your hall will be better than everybody's own. Whatever you are seeing today that is pushing you into a relationship or into marriage, when your own time come, your own will be new modern, their own will be old modern. Am I might tell you somebody here? Hold on, don't rush. So if you put love, into a relationship, you will miss it all. Many of our fathers that married their wife because of love, go and see them today. Check your fathers. Ask your father, how, what, what have they achieved? Nothing. Only few. And our fathers that achieved, they will tell you they did not get married on time. Our fathers that achieved, they will tell you what they have laid down before they get married. Our mother that succeed, they will tell you, when I get married to your father, your father was a banker. I was also what? A banker. If I'm a banker, my wife is not working. It's a way one channel. Money will come to the house. And if I lose my job, get ready, our landlord will do what? Lalo will do what? Send us out. God program women not to suffer. They are happy hands. You bring the money that they draw. That is why a woman will tell you, your money is what? Our money. But my money is what? My money. So never marry because you love anybody. 
You may love cigarettes or drink. That does not mean that you can give it to your children. You may love it. I may fall in love with you. That does not mean you are better for marriage. There are things you can see into marriage. You say, this person is good for marriage. A shovel that go into prostitution. They are doing it. They love it, but they are not happy doing it. And they can never tell their children, go and do a shovel to succeed. It's a shovel I did to succeed. Have you seen anybody heard that the mother to- told him or her, say, my son, my daughter, try to do a shovel, may succeed, do not take on you. <laughs> Is anybody here? <laughs> Even when their parents or their mother do a shovel and build house, they will never introduce that line to you. They will never. So love is not enough. If your eyes can open and see the right person, you will discover this person may not actually love you the way you are expected. But this person will support you to the end. Fell in love with somebody that supports you. That supports your vision. For a love with somebody that never allow anything to affect your vision. Try to fall in love with somebody that anytime you are in need, he or she may not have that money, but will give you idea. I might tell you somebody here. They give you idea. Those are people that are better in relationship. Don't say ah. Just gone. I don't have money. Oh. This thing you are, you are saying, I don't have money. But can't we do this? Do this? Do this? Initially, you may not think of that. But immediately, they ask you, can't we do this? Your what? Your what? Your brain will open. You say, wow, babe. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. I love you. Thank you. That is for your love. Now you want to your boyfriend or your girlfriend. Say, babe, is it more? He say, if our things are very bad, I say, oh. Uh-huh. Say, uh, I, I thought, if, if I can see like uh, 10,000, let me just, if we do, let us be silly, cool, cool. honey, say you like it, say, oh. Uh-huh. What is that? I say, I don't get an idea. I don't get an idea. Anything you do, just do one. Anyone, anyone, just, just do one. It's good. You will discover that man, when he started a business, a small girl in the office that is giving him idea, a small man, a get man, that is always calling her and saying, Madam, it's better we do this, we do this, we fall in love with that person. Love is not enough in relationship. If you must wait or do the right thing, you will find out that love is one of the spices that will help your relationship to grow. If any woman tell you, any woman tell you, I love you the way you are. I marry you the way you are. Eh? That was the language of our mothers. Not now. If any woman tell you, I love you the way you are. That English died 1980s. When our mother has nothing to do except farm. And our father have nothing to do. I say what? Farm. And their dream is to give birth. And as a day in the village, we are looking for the highest what? The highest what? Children. People will get children pass. Ah, a Canadian born 12. Like, like a Canadian go pass me. I go born 13. Ah, you know how many acres a Canadian is having in cassava? How many? 50. Like, like I go born 12. So that I go get 30 acres. Yes. No, no more fun. So the world has grown to another level that you don't depend on love. If any woman told you today that he loves you because of who you are, yes, believe, but never put that in your head. What she is telling you, I love you because of who you are now, so that tomorrow things will get what? Things will get what? It is not better, uncle. He will quote first Timothy for you. Any man that cannot take care of her house is what? 
Me hold an effie there. You go be surprised. You go, yes, that woman. Why not you talk in great Bible for her? But you love her. Don't say, I love her, want you. Let God not punish you. Let nobody do marriage or burial. They can't share clothes to sell. You can't carry the cloth, can't give you, say, Daddy, a kidney. Sister Janet, want the wedding? You can't say, I don't get money. You don't die. Love is not enough. A woman love any a, a woman love any man who is there for her any time, any what, any day. She wants to do her say, honey, I love you. She wants to buy pint. You say, honey, I love you. She go to the her. She go as I see set. Her set we made the use. He come to you, honey, change my answer, and I say, I love you. Ah, you go collect love, Taya. Love is not enough in your relationship. You need to wake up and discover who you are. You need to wake up and know what you are supposed to do before you venture into a relationship so that relationship will not be a casualty in society. In the street, they will not use you as one of the examples of people that are poor. And when you give birth to children, they'll be using your children as witch in the school. They say, Ojo Kurokon, come and ask demon. Then your children, they go, they ask demon. Because you love her, he love you. But poverty don't make your children be like, what did they not know? I love you. You can love a woman. You can love a man. That does not give you the guarantee. Then you have to put that woman or that man into marriage. It's not a guarantee at all. At all. You can buy anything for her, do anything for him. But when it came to marriage issue, at all. Marriage is far different from relationship. My daughter was telling me so fast ago. <laughs> Daddy, I am tired of this marriage. I want to quit. Hmm. I said, okay, good, 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 good. I asked her a question. How long have you been this? That is the day I was I married this man. I never see any good thing. When this man does say, oh. Is that possible, sir? <laughs> huh? This man has never, he says this, I did suffer, I did suffer, I see the suffer thing now. Now, so I suffer that, I say, wow. And I come at that. Where did you see this man that you want to quit the marriage? And one place, so, one place that we'll see, they have to now see what happened. And he buy me a drink with chop suya. Uh -huh. After that, and he invited me to his house. There was a day again, we went out. He buy me this, he buy me that. There was a day again. We, see, that the not beside the talk. I'm not going to talk. I'm not going to talk. And they tell you now that the, I, I'm talking. Mm -mm, continue. The good thing this very young man has done before. Uh, he buy this, he buy this, he buy this, he buy this. But that in a cycle day, Madame go there. What did you give to the young man? What is the idea you have given to the young man? What is the contribution you have contributed to the marriage? And I ask him, this young man, what his business is doing? He's not working. Before you married him, is he working? No. You are a fool. You're going to take that marriage. You marry him because of love, and you will remain the marriage because of love. Bible says, what two or three are done together? No, let no more matter what. If they create, let me want to put us on that. If that marry the world the way she expects, do you think you come to church and report? Am I telling somebody here? Marriage is not enough. Love is not enough. In marriage, there are things you must take into consideration before you go venture into marriage. Point number three, because of time. Marry someone be 
below your understanding is a hair marry someone below your understanding you are living there is one drama sometimes living in what in bondage have you? yes marry someone that understands you you will enjoy marriage like i told you before marriage is not all married are not perfect but there are some you can manage if you marry someone that understands you, that knows your character, you will enjoy it. But if you marry someone you cannot control, Madam Oga, you are dying. Because if you are talking about A, she is talking about B. In fact, any man that marry a woman that is low under his own understanding is better as more. But if you marry a man, that is very, very low from your understanding. Just get ready to have fire. Just be prepared yourself. Know that you are going to go to heaven. Why? Because they will frustrate you. Men, listen, listen to me. I will not lie to you. Women cannot frustrate a man to the extent a man will go to heaven. But man can frustrate a woman. Eh? You know, go we'll give her money. Go we'll say, give her boundary. If you come up, if you, if you ask, eh, but also there's any money for this food for us to feed my children, I will kill you. <laughs> Problem. Marry someone that understand you. Someone that will see you and say, ah. Jump, he jump. Sit, sit. Let's go. Let's go. What do you have to say? The person will have something to say. That's the kind of person you get married to. Not a man or a woman. That his or her IQ is very, 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 very low. Do you know the problem of such people? When you are advising them, they are intimidated. The effects, you are laughing at them. When you are advising them, good advice. If you correct them, you are in problem. They don't like correction. Because everything you are saying is like, it's like, going through their eyes if somebody in primary, primary school talk to somebody in, in a secondary school talk to somebody in primary school the best go do it in you go like him someone in secondary school is teaching somebody in primary school you go like him it go to make sense for their ear right there's someone in primary school teaching somebody in secondary school <laughs> Now just use, you could just use, do caricature. When you marry somebody that don't understand who you are, that is your number one mistake in life. As a man or as a young lady. If a woman or a man in a relationship is trying to bring an issue and you're trying to correct him or her, and you now look as if your own is more better than their own. You have problem. Do you know the problem with these kind of people? If they agree with you, problem. If they don't agree with you, problem. You must always agree with what? With them. Every idea you bring is stupid and useless. If you are a man, if you are a woman, they will never support you. They will never bring any idea that will help you. But their own, their own, their own. That is not good for marriage or relationship. It is better for a man to be more brighter than a woman. Relationship is like a business. Relationship is like a business. You bring your idea, I do what? I bring my idea. We put it together. We go far. Any marriage you see today that is booming, the two of them, they are IQ, they are, okay, they are what? They are okay. If the man wants to make mistakes, the woman will draw, her back, draw him back. Bros, come. This is what we want to do, so you go for a couple. This money we want to put for you, so you're not going to work. More put on this side. The man will say, um, be like, say, okay, 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 okay. If the woman is misbehaving, the, the man will draw, come. 
This thing you are doing now is not going to work. Let's do it like this. Let's do it. Like this. Okay, 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 okay. But when one IQ is very low, when one don't know anything about what you are about to do or what you are doing, that marriage do not last. That marriage, that marriage do not last. That marriage we break up or that relationship we break up anytime anytime that's why some ladies who say eh, i've been with him i've been with him for for years i've been with him for years see what he has done to me now he break my heart i went to go and marry a yes what did i have that a kitchen don't have am i not better than a kitchen in your eyes you are better than a kitchen in his eyes is what the kid is better than you. In your eyes, you are better than Ikechi. In his eyes, Ikechi is far, far better than you. Ikechi bring ideas that make you to be who you are. But you never bring ideas that make us to be who we, who we are. Someone you can control. Someone that can hear you. Someone that can listen to you. If you cannot speak or marry or fall in love with anybody that will listen to you, anybody that will bring idea, that relationship will not matter. It will, it will not go far. It will not go. So those are three things I want us to quickly throw question before we continue uh, our next topic. Because if we want to start, we will not live here. So because of time, I will round up from here. Number one, I said, marriage is not a destiny. Nobody will tell you if you succeed, whether or your wife do or your husband do one. Nobody. Like, simple question. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Okay. Nobody is hearing you. Let everybody lead Mike. My phone. My phone. Daddy, I want to ask you. Yes, ma'am. Somebody's asking a question. Aboki. Hmm? <laughs> Don't laugh now. Sir, is it good to wash your boyfriend clothes? Whether it's good to wash your boyfriend clothes? Yes, sir. If it's not good, what are you doing in the house? Same question, this one they ask. If you cannot wash your boyfriend clothes, what are you doing there? But if you cannot wash your clothes, you give you food to chop. You cannot wash your clothes. You need a research card to give you. Your mama is sick, same money. If I slap you. <laughs> I'm hearing. Sir, I, yeah, the, the, the question she asked. Okay. See, I'm not married to the guy. Okay. So I cannot just go to your house. You are dating the guy. Yes. Food. I am dating him. I cannot just. What is dating? What is dating? <laughs> what is dating now? <laughs> what are talking now? What is dating? You are into a relationship. What is relationship? Have brother to marriage. They continue, man. But we are not married yet. So I can't be washing his clothes. You can't wash his clothes. That means you are not you are not good to also take, take his money. <laughs> you are not also good enough to take his money. Question, please. There are some men, listen to me, there are some men, they, 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 they discover who they ought to marry due to what they have seen from the woman. Not, be, not beauty at all. Let me hear you. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Um, my question is not much. Okay, sir. Uh, I overheard you say um, God is not that interested in marriage. Yes. But I've come across it in the scripture. Okay, tell us. In the book of Genesis chapter 2. Okay. Verse 24. Okay. It said, Therefore shall a man leave his father okay. and his mother. Okay. And shall cleave unto his wife. Okay. And they shall be one flesh. Okay. And there's another verse in the scripture that said, 
uh, he that find a wife, okay, find a good thing, okay, and obtain favor, favor from God, okay. So how is it that I'm hearing another message and version? Yeah, okay, yes, from you. Put your hands together for him. If you follow my teaching step by step, I never said marriage is not good. I said God did not create you first for marriage. Before romance, that is Job. Before anything marriage, you must discover what? I said it, your purpose, who you are. Articom. A man will leave his wife, Abby. I will leave my own father and mother. And we click together as husband and uh, now husband and wife will go chop. Abby? Time to pay school fees, house rent. We are husband and wife now. Abby? We are going to pay house rent. She will not tell me, take your responsibility. You are the man. No. Before God will tell you that, you have programmed yourself. You have discovered who you are. God bless you. Marriage is not sweet without money. Am I telling somebody here? Marriage is not, relationship is not, come. Has your husband or your wife give you a name you don't know? Hello? Because of waiting. Money. You go ask her, honey, which kind of name be that you say that me for my heart to give you? <laughs> yes. When love is sweet, you go just look, you look, you say, you, say, you are the apple in my life. Say, I, I, apple in my life. Okay. Because I have no, I have no other apple. You, you, are, you are my peace. Me give you peace. Now you, now you. Let that money do it in. Expire. You will tell you, you are my devil. In fact, since I know you, I have never seen peace in my life. <laughs> you will leave husband and you will leave your mother and leave your father. Yes! But have something that will make that marriage sweet. Whosoever that find a good wife, I think we say, say a good wife. There are some wife that are bad wife. Whosoever that find a good man. Also, there are some man that what? A bad man. What? Tell me. Don't let the Bible deceive you at all. Any man that must get married, get married to feed your family first. Know what you are supposed to do first. How do we know a man that will take care of his home when you are still in relationship? You don't cry. He gives to you. He's always there. But today, now love will push you. Some of us don't even know what his love said. We just want to be in, in somebody's house. Because our house, my, my mom used to shout for me. Who is it who there was, was somebody was telling us that I, I feel like leaving my house? That um, uh, uh, I, I used to wash plates. My mom oh, oh, asked me to wash plates all the time. I'm tired of washing plates. I don't feel like leaving my house. I, I want to be in somebody's house. Eh? In, immediately the man discovered you are a lazy type. He will bring you in. Yes. He will bring you in. Use you. Now package you like take away to your parents. Yes. No man wants to end up with a woman that is not industrious. No man wants to end up. This, all these men looking at me here, they know what I'm talking about. Too. And there's a man of them that they are not married. They have seen Kechi. <clears throat> they say Ekata. <laughs> Next question. <laughs> Next question. Do you think there is no men outside? There is men. There are women. But talking about marriage, you not go see. You go find my attire. Questions? No problem. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Now, pitching at the top one is beginning to show. Yeah, no thanks. What you explain? You did contradictory. You never explain with thing in the try to talk. Okay. Because according to the Bible, yes. Marriage at the first institution God creates. Okay. Giving your parents, parents. to cling to your wife. Okay. Now, 
man who starts from last, man starts from the back. Okay. You say person, sponsor person. Okay. Go school. Yes. Come back. Okay. Now the person they say me I not be class. Okay. How much you don't spend? Make, make I pay you back. That will not make that guy an ingrate. Before now you just say love not enough. Married person will go support your dreams. Now, you, I won't support your dreams as they tell us now. Yes. Because love not enough. Yes. Part of your dream now to go school. Yes. Part of your dream now to become something. Yes. So if I invest, support your dream. Yes. How is it me say I do the wrong thing? Yes. Now, the things they blend. I don't even know what I'm Okay, take on one one. Uh, take one. The first one. Let's talk about the first one. That yes. he said the lady is an ingrate. So yes. that's yes. yes. If you tell me say after everything I don't spend, then I am much. I don't spend. Uh, make a calculation. Because I not be your class. The best when we say be class. Actually, why the person not come? Raise half to the whole class. Okay, let me answer that. Should I answer that? Okay. Oh yeah, finish it, finish it. Now, mm -hmm. I believe say this purpose of this meeting now uh, to prepare people they say never marry into marriage. Yes. If marriage is not the important, why would be this particular topic? Good. Why would not pick politics at the come? Sorry, sir. Why would not pick politics or any other secular topic, Good. why would they talk about marriage? Marriage is not the important. Countless places there for the Bible. The Bible not just talk say, the Bible not just say he will find a good wife. Not be good, the right for them. Okay. He said he will find a wife. Wife. And obtain it favor. Okay. If the matter not consign God as you let us, as you talked before now, say okay. you don't marry, you not consign God. Why God will put his blessing? And you see they tell us, you see talk before now, say um if money go. Some wife will go. Okay. The Bible give us example of Ruth for the Bible. Okay. Even when the husband died, Ruth they okay. tell him, but I say anywhere where they go, I will follow you. I will follow you. Do okay. They go. So not be everybody be like that. Okay. If hey. some individual you have answered that. Eh? You have answered that. When you put him, you be like say if money not there, everybody they go. <laughs> you no, have answered that. No, continue. The way you put him like continue. If money not go, all the all if money not there, all the women they go. Okay. That one I not see Say they right. Okay. Then you see talk about um, our forefathers. They marry people when we say he they support him. I don't know, I don't they sure whether anybody they away senior Dangote or senior Tinibu. I'm not sure say anybody here don't hear about Dangote wife. The work which they do, all the support which they bring to Dangote. Okay. Many men they away they mate, eh? And they go see they mate, the, the, the world will end. They yeah. are what? Men, men. They, mate. they are already mate until yes. the world go end. I Very good. Men. Yes. And I'm not sure saying any record of their wife influence them for their money. Okay. We see Elon Musk, I test that. We see these people that do aeroplane. That's where people invent bomb. Okay. Now their own also strive. If their wife will become anything, okay. And then make their wife become what they be. You are not coming and to where I'm going. And the Bible tell us about love. The way where you go take show love now okay. to die, according to the way she just can do for okay. the way she just can take the church. Okay. The way to support and help and love the church. And to lay down his life. Okay. How you go come be say, woman will not get anything. If I get anything, I must find supportive woman. I can okay. make that woman become something. Not be say I must find my equal. Understanding person when you say uh, married person, you say you understand. Yes, they valid. But say the woman want to marry, he must get something to him. Like I'm not sure say that goes any person when you say get something to marry the person. You go make that person become something. Okay. Not be said the woman must bring something, but you go okay. establish the woman. Okay. I feel like I feel Maria. Mm -hmm. She not get any way she do. Okay. I go train her to the way I want. Okay. Not be said I go say because of say she not get any to do that will not be reason for me to like her. Okay. Make her go find person. What if the person gets something to do? Actually, the after my life. What if the person can't are they useless? Just because of, say he gets something way they do. Okay. Let me, of that girl. let me help you. Let me help you. Hello. Listen. If you follow my teaching, you, you must, as a man, lay a foundation for yourself. Listen to me. I'm talking about the men, particularly. If a man not get foundation, you come on marry, or God, you will die young. I feel the people. Hold on, hold on, hold on, cool down. Listen to me. This is my wife. Listen, listen. This is my wife. I married her. She has nothing. Listen. I was made. Listen. If you are not, if you have nothing and you marry, it's going to be dangerous. 
very very dangerous in my house she let her dress I, I, I made that that one that sent her girlfriend to school I came back I said that guy is not his class or her class that guy is angry and if you are not careful that guy may actually end up with another man that will not love her now listen mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. When you are, no, I'm with you when you are teaching generally don't always let people have that peace of mind that I will enjoy this, I will enjoy it. It's a lie. You will get it wrong. And that's the teachings our pastors, our forefathers, our leaders, they gave us. They gave us peace of mind. And at the end, when we enter, we say this something else. We see something else. That is, I will never tell you what you are going to enjoy there. But I'll tell you the green light you are going to see. So that when you enter, if you see it, oh, I, I know. They tell me. You understand with my teachings now. I will never tell you. This is my wife. In my house, she's a hairdresser today. In my house, she's a baker. The cap she's wearing. I suppose it is doing it now. In my house. Am I telling somebody here? So you must make sure you if you must be okay. Then you support your wife. Just you will be very speedy in life. But you don't have. Your wife don't have. Who we assist each other? Who we assist? Now let me tell you. In my first album, listen to me. In my first album, I have no damn. As a musician, I have nothing in me. I empty her account. One hundred and ninety thousand to support me. If she not get to call, hello, hello. <laughs> the man must able to stand first. The woman was able to stand first before coming together as a what? Husband and wife. You don't just put mine. Oh, a, a, a man leave his father's house. A woman leave his father's house. We have nothing. We have no foundation. We have no hope. Our hope is when we get married. The Bible said, any man that finds a wife, hanging a good thing, and find favor in the... Oh God, you'll be frustrated in marriage. You'll be frustrated. But when you lay a good foundation for yourself, you are a man, as you are. Now, maybe you are not married. God has blessed you. Maybe you are into real estate. Or one or the other. You are already made. Like you said, all those are done they are already made. That's why their wife is not hearing. But do you know their wife is contributing something to their life that you don't know? Are you getting my point now? Try to be made first. Then when you bring your wife in, she will not suffer. Your children will not suffer. You are not made. Your wife is not made. I can't cut countless times she has paid my children's school fee. Unknown to me. She has paid the children's school fees. Even when I'll be scratching my head, ah, oh, today, go join the laugh. They, if they think, I say, ah, they will tell my children for school fees. Forget them. See the receipt I have paid. If when mon I was not having money, and she's not having money. Bible said, whosoever that find a wife, find what? She said, the good thing will bring my children, you will pay my children's school fees for, for school. No. Have a foundation that will support you in your marriage. Never allow, never allow people to tell you if you enter marriage, is the best thing in life. Your husband will love you, your wife will love you. They are deceiving you. They are deceiving you. I went to a church one day. In the church service, the pastor wanted to preach. And he said, somebody uh, appreciate my sweet sister, the wife. Since we get married, we have no issue. This is 11 years. We have no issue. She is always there. And you sweet mouth, paying the wife, everybody happy. As I said, I was still a musician. Our church closed. Pastor to make a phone and go out. Do you know I ran away from the house? I think I have shared it since I nobody in the From the house. Woman, when you paint for church, and everybody will put it. I reach out, now blow. And I follow and go out, make I go to your price. Bros, I must be out a drink. Now I run, I run. Then why are we deceiving ourselves? It is better you tell them the truth. Let them know the points, the checkpoints. 
That even when they eventually eventually to marry, they know what they are going to face. Nobody here that is not in any relationship. So everything I'm saying now, they are picking it. Mm, 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 mm. Okay, fine, he loves me. But yesterday I told him, do you know there are some guys here? Guys, I want to expose you guys. Do you know some guys that even when time don't reach for their girlfriend birthday, they will pretend as if they're not well. Hello? They'll do it. In. They're, I'm not feeling fine. I'm not feeling fine. If they get better, they don't pass. If you are not prepared that get that relationship is not bread and rosary, do you think she will enjoy it? She won't enjoy it. Any man, any woman that enjoy with her husband in relationship, when the man has nothing, go and check that woman's foundation. His mother, or her mother also do what? Her mother also do what? Enjoy with his father. Yes. Go and check it. Charity begins at home. You're training from home. When you, your, your wife, your mother, your, your, your wife sees the way her own mother treats her father, even when there is nothing. My brother, even when you have nothing, she will also treat you like that. She will talk is the same thing. But let her be born with silver spoon. And she not fall in love with you. You not ask her to come as a swallowing ever. A demonic ever. After to know ever. She loves you sincerely. After to know ever. At times, said, no food at all. Bros, don't lie. Can I get cold? They can't cold. Okay. Hallelujah. So, in addition to what you said, this is not a question. Okay. Um, getting something doing as the man is not enough. Okay. Understand? But you are right, sir. Uh, in addition to that, the Bible said, seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. Wait, wait, before you go there now. Continue, sir. So, <laughs> the Bible says, seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. Yes, sir. And every other thing shall be, shall added, be added to you. But the, uh, the point I'm trying to drive out is that okay. uh, getting something doing as a man before thinking of marriage is not enough. Okay. Understand? If you are not godly minded uh -huh. as the man, no matter what you achieve, no matter your capacity, okay. you know, no matter your resources, no matter what you uh, acquire, okay. if, you, if you finally settle down, there will still be a problem. Whether you made your wife, you change her life, you turn her, her life around, both of you understand each other. Somebody there will still be a problem. Somebody sir. should ask him, is it possible? Yes, it's possible, sir. If the, if the wife is not a Christian, or you the husband, you are not a Christian, okay. you, are, you, are, you, are, you are not yet giving your life to Jesus okay. Christ of Nazareth. Uh -huh. Now you are coming now. Excuse you me. just land. Excuse me, sir. Uh -huh. No matter what you have, no matter your position, sir, there will still be a problem. Because... Okay. Devil will come in. Devil knows the children of God. Yes. He knows those that are serving God. Yes. In truth and in spirit. Yes. That's not. Even devil. Devil also is a spirit. Yes. That's not. So if you are not serving God, if you are not on that track, devil knows who you are. Okay. Are you getting? Okay. So he can easily penetrate as the rich man that you are. Okay. That turns your wife's life around your son like you made her to become who you oh, Yes. That's not. Devil will still come and pollute the marriage, sir. Okay. That's not. The marriage will not last. Okay. That's just the point. So, uh, as a couple, both of you have to be spiritually minded, godly minded. Okay. Not just, not just uh, uh, wealth. Okay. It's not all about wealth alone. Okay. That's not. That's what I'm trying to say. Okay. Sir. Put your hands together for him. You want to ask something or you have to ask? Okay. Eh? You want to add? Okay. Sir, I will not deceive you. I will not deceive you. Why I say I will not deceive you is this. Whatever I say now will be used against me tomorrow and until the kingdom come. Because if you see me outside tomorrow, it is what I said now you will judge me with. Am I talking to you? Eventually, when you get married, all these things, if they are still your brain, you will remember everything I'm saying. Ah, that my lie. That my telling all the truth. Now, sir. I know people that are not Christians. Their marriage succeed. I, I can count people. I'm a married counselor. People come to me every day. I ask them, are you a Christian? No. I hear most of them no. Marriage are okay. Their marriage are okay. 
Jesus is the only foundation in your religion, sorry. In Christian religion, Jesus is our foundation. In Muslim religion, Muhammad is the foundation. In uh, Babalawo religion, what is the foundation? The Zibia. So if you say, seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, every other thing, the man must know God, the woman must know God. Yes, if both of you are believers, if both of you serve the same God and you understand the same God, your marriage will be smooth. Let me tell you, hey, wait. Even though you are a pastor, your wife is a pastor, if the devil wants to come, Hey, 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 wait, 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 hey, hey, calm down, calm down. Hello, are you hearing me? Are you hearing me? Are you hearing me, sir? And today, I talked about three categories of devil, or four. The one that you know, eh, that you can kill, these are witches and wizards, which are demons. A principality is me, you. Okay, that your born again wife and born again woman, you go close your church. Use on my head like the rough street. So don't just pray that devil should know you. <laughs> That's our prayer. That's how we are praying every day. God have mercy. God protect us. So don't always put on. Don't always. I don't let my church. This my church. I don't teach that you must be. No, no, you will die. You will just die. You will die. Don't even try it. What will help your marriage, sir, is knowing God and doing the right thing at the right time. Your marriage will be sweet. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Uh, like you talk, they right. Um, Christian marriage is a scatter. Now, them devil did their first part. In fact, number one, number one target. Show for the Bible, for the Bible, an example. Show the Bible is an upright person. Two seconds, everything scatter. So that's what I'm telling you. You must have a foundation as a man before going into marriage. Have a foundation. I will not deceive you. Have a foundation. The girl, the camiango, the carton, any but man, man. Okay, let me ask this question, sir. Listen to me now. Let you ask question that they like. By God's that guess, maybe your sister or your wife. If money not their house, if you call your brother, do you think I think your brother will not give you? But if your wife call your brother, I go give him. We may have ways of what? Miango. But men, now God they help us. That's why you need to lay foundation for yourself first. I can call 20 people a day, the only one who help me. But let woman call 20 people a day, 15 go help her. Yes. Fifty go help her. Next question. My time. I'm writing up very soon. Hallelujah. Okay, my question. You wanted to ask question. I want to ask if a man is maltreating me uh -huh. and he's threatening me that he's going to kill me. Okay. And eventually one day he comes out with cutlass. Okay. That he's going to cut my head that okay. day. Okay. And I ran out of the house. Or somebody. In marriage or in relationship? Marriage. Marriage. Okay. Relationship. okay. Uh -huh. So I ran out of the house or someone held him. Okay. That kind of marriage, will you tell me to stay in that marriage? Because you said that uh, you don't um, accept divorce. Okay. So, <laughs> will I stay in that marriage or have to leave the marriage? Okay. Before you marry that man, ladies, let's be frank with ourselves. Before you marry that man, that man might have evil in relationship. That's what Oibo people, they like cutting, they like relationship and marriage. Before you marry that man, you might have seen some red line in the life of that person. That this person will be violent. Any man that is always quick to anger, it's because of time. There are some checkpoints, I will tell you. There are some checkpoints. Any man that is always quick to anger, <laughs> You are dating. You tell us nothing if I break. Come on, dating, no. Maybe you, you went to school or your battery off or what happened. He called you. You know, but nobody, if I break, 
That's to tell you what you are going to receive when you get married. I might tell you somebody here. So you must see some check point in this person's life that if, if I end up with this person, this is what I will end up with. A man that is not violent cannot carry a class when they say they want to kill you. It's not possible. It's not possible. A man that is not violent. A man that anytime you talk to him, you're going to laugh, Momo laugh. Or you're going to look you. You're going to look you. You're not going to tell you anything. You're not just wake up one day and say, no. But anyone that is always telling you, there are some men that are Mr. Right all the time. Mr. Right, Mr. Right, Mr. Right, Mr. Right, Mr. Right. Mr. right. Those men can kill you all the time. Please give our sister here. Hallelujah. Use your mic, please. Maybe the mic is off. Check. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Yeah. I because not what you are saying is very fine. But I would still like you to help everyone, myself. How Use your mic. Okay. How to know the right person to marry. The time will not permit us. That is what I said. Checkpoints. I only give us what we can see. We are all human. There are some places you will enter, you will see keep off, right? If they say keep off a military zone, then you take, they are not telling not to enter, but what? Know how to walk. Because there will be, you may fall victim, they will catch you. There are some areas you will enter, they will say dog, uh, dog, they hear, uh, beware of dog. They are not telling not to enter. If you are afraid of dog, don't enter. Are you understanding me? So there are some checkpoints I'm supposed to list out for us. If I start list- listing it, they will not live here. So if I give you those points and say these are men and women you are not supposed to get married with, or should I give us? Should I give us two or three? No time. Okay. Now, my question is you said like uh, everybody has to say it, but I still want to say my own because it's not. Say your own, say your own. Use your mic, please. Use your God mic. Is not, uh, God is not interested in marriage. Okay. Why did God create Eve? Okay. God is not interested in marriage. Okay. Then, you also said uh, marriage is created by woman. Yes. Then, why is it that uh, we, are, we still have to pray to ask from God the right person to marry? God bless you. Let me help you. Now, there you finish yourself. Now they kill yourself. That's why I don't want to bring, but I told you before, right? I don't want to go into Bible. Now, dear, eh? You just finish yourself. This, this, are my, this is my church. Anyone that said he wants to marry, that they help me to pray. What I'll tell the person, go meet them. More than talk. If you like the person, I am not the one that will live with you. There is how many prophets and many pastors they don't jump two alliance together. Married here. You married person in the morning, break up in the evening, then a pastor, I confirm the marriage. I don't confirm marriage. I want to tell you, you like the person, yes. Oh yeah. Go meet him. No, 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 Paul. Now you want to live with the person. Let me tell you the gospel truth. God at times. God at times cannot give you hundred percent and say, This is your wife. Or this is your husband. God don't do it. God don't do it. Because if he do it, and that marriage will not work tomorrow, that means God is a liar. Ah, we are all going to church now. Now nobody hear English. Um, so talk. Uh, now pastor, now see me can marry this man. Now pastor, me I'm not the drama. You want marry? No wala. Even if you come and say you want to marry a Muslim man and you are a Christian, I will clap for you. Oh yeah. But if anything we see there, no. If you come here to marry Baba Lawo, you love him, he say, yeah, you sure, you, oh yeah, I go bless you. If you ask me, daddy, pray, if, if this man is the right man, if this woman is the right woman, and I pray, I come to say, God said he's the right man, tomorrow, the, the person is not, not the right person, 
God don't talk two times. So. <laughs> My God is not the author of what? Confusion. You know, he talk two times. So. That's I told you the, first, the beginning. Okay, now, if God created marriage for we, as we said, Lilith, the first wife of Adam, God will not send her out. No. If not God, go. Okay, okay, no, no, say Adam and two wife you marry. Yeah, yeah. You see where we are having confusion in this Christian body. <laughs> Adam married second wife. And that is why today, most of our pastors, they married second wife, third wife, fourth wife. A, not good. B, not wish. D, not second. God, no, they know. God will tell you, choose. Whosoever that find a wife, find a good thing. No, Allah. It's not good. It's good to have it. Oh, yeah, choose. I cannot come. <laughs> yes, sir. Uh, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Still on this marriage talk. Yes, sir. Why can't we say the Bible God they tell us say, what is God joined together? May nobody put us under and a God nine showing a man. Yes, God. yes. Wait, as you carry and come. Wait, wait, wait. No, mm -hmm. not be as you carry and come. No, 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 no. You say God nice to say you go leave your house at the time. There is time to get married. Uh -huh. And again, you say God no go tell you say you marry this person. Okay. The Bible says tell us how God instructs our time or our time. Uzziah to okay. go and marry a prostitute. Okay. God tell her directly say that this person you go marry. Okay. That hundred percent confirmation. Okay. Now let me help you. Let me help you. I told us, I said, most time. If you are following my teaching, if you are following, I break it one after the other. God cannot give you your wife. He can only show you revelation. Listen. Wait, cool down. Not Russia. A, a mother came and said, I have two wives. I have two wives. I want to marry. Help me to pray. If Janet and Bosse. They are my wife. And I prayed. Or you prayed as a man. So I want to know if Bosse and Ekata is good. You pray as a man. I God now open your eyes. You now saw Ekata with Bible. Because now they finish you now. Now saw Ekata with Bible. Then you now see Janet in party. Bros, who will you marry? <laughs> Who will you marry? Okay, let me help you now. Now let me help you. This is where we are making it again. As God speaks to a man, so Satan speaks to a man. And that is why God is not interested. Whatever you bring, he has set with you. Now listen, when he created the Garden of Eden, okay, he never forced man and said, you must first serve me. No. He gave you what? Dominion free. Do whatever you like. And that is his commandment. Do whatever you like. When he created Adam and Eve, he never told Adam, marry Eve. No, it's a helper. Eve was a helper. Eve was never a weighty yoga. Weighty, weighty, cool down. Hello, cool down. <laughs> now listen again. Listen. Mm. Hold on now. Time, time to go. Hold on, hold on. Cool down, cool down. When the first uh, uh, Eve left, listen, listen. Cool down. Do like this, do like this. Do like this. <laughs> when the first Eve left, God, if you read the Bible, in the book of Genesis, the Bible says, God saw that Adam was lowly. He not say he saw that Adam's wife left. He said he saw that Adam was lowly, and he want to create another woman to be what? To be what? I can talk now. To be a companion. He not tell you I want to create a woman make you marry. Now Eve, let me tell you, even when Eve never chop what is supposed to chop, he eye not open. Now, when he chop with the chop, now he eye open. Then he say, uh-uh, but I say, this woman not carry it, I carry it. And already, the Lucifer is already dwelling. The Lucifer don't they? Which is the snake. So, the snake now will be ministry to them. You see why your eye is blind? It's because this one is woman. Okay, who named um, um, 
active woman. Because he lost for Eve. He said, this is called woman. The bone of my, the flesh of my, God, not name her. Fine. There is nobody God has not given authority. Mm -mm. Wait, oh, wait. Oh, God, wait. Hello? Hello? There is nobody God not give authority. I told you, anything God do, devil do. God give you authority to marry in the morning. Under three years, you quit. Not be authority God give you. Yes. <laughs> you want to say something? <laughs> when I give up my... <laughs> Praise the Lord, church. Hallelujah. <laughs> In, I'm coming. I'm coming back to that area. Okay. That same area that you say, that aspect that you said that God is not interested in marriage. Okay. But I also found it here in the book of Genesis. Okay. Chapter two, verse eighteen. Okay. It said, "And the Lord God said, okay. it is not good that the man should be alone.' Okay. God bless you. I God. will make him okay. and help meet for him." So if you read down, read down to verse 21, <laughs> don't answer, don't answer said, and the Lord God caused a deep sleep <laughs> to fall upon Adam, <laughs> and answer. he slept, <laughs> and he took one of his ribs <laughs> and closed up the flesh. <laughs> he said, Jerob, <laughs> 22, <laughs> and the rib which the Lord God has taken from man, mm -hmm. made he a woman, <laughs> and brought her unto the man. Mm -hmm. And Adam said, this is now bones of my uh -huh. bones and flesh of my mm -hmm. flesh. She it, shall be called it, it woman because mm -hmm. she was taken from my rib. Yes. Uh -huh. So God knew that mm -hmm. it is not good for a man should be alone. Uh -huh. wait, because wait, 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 God wait, wait, wait. is interested. No, Thank you, sir. No, no. Sir, wait, no, sir. no, 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 no. Listen. Yes, if God is not interested, okay. he wouldn't have put it that way, that it is not good for a man to be alone. Okay. Because he knew that that man cannot, cannot carry out all the daily activities uh -huh. all by himself. Good. Are you getting Okay. God knows more than us. He's wiser. Yes. That's why he's a God. Uh -huh. He knew that the man will actually need a woman. Uh -huh. That was why he made, he provided a woman for him okay. as a life partner. Okay. Is because it, I can call Eve. Is it your Adam, Bible that God, Adam life partner. is it your Bible that God created Eve for Adam to marry? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. This is what the Bible is talking about. <laughs> <laughs> See, hello, listen to me. Your foundation of the church, you go to matters a lot. If you are not into any church that break Bible to pieces, you will argue blindly until Jesus Christ comes. That's why in, in social, if you go to social media today, you will see some pastor will be preaching, you will be laughing. This is the Bible. Okay, let me shock you. Okay, what is a wife? Oh, mm -hmm. Okay, English. Hello, English.com. Hello, wait, wait. We are in English. Oh. Listen. Oh. Hello. Hello. Listen. Ah. Hello. 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 Are you enjoying the class? Yes. Now let's go. She asked the question What is a helper? What is a what? Companion. Now in your office. In your office. Is your husband that follow you to your office? In that office, nobody. Nobody is a helper. No, please answer me. Nobody's a companion. Then you must marry that man or that woman. Oh, you just explain it. What is a wife? What is a wife? A wife is someone that you love, you get married to, and you bear children. A wife is not just your companion. A wife is your crown, is your helper, is your everything. Is part what what make love wait? I told you before. What make up relationship? Love is part of it, right? What make up wife? Helper is part of it. Companion is part of it. No. Oh, you can be my companion. Okay, let me break it down. Do you know that people that are married, when they have problems, they don't call their wife or their husband. Hello, have you seen such people? 
They won't call their wife or their husband. They will call somebody. Maybe their spiritual father, their spiritual mother, their ex-boyfriend, their ex-girlfriend. Ah, this thing I'm going to, I don't like it. The person will give him is a helper. It's a helper. They're not married. How many times have you called me? That is CC, CC, CC. I am your companion. That is CC. You, you marry me. Are you my wife? No. Your companion is not your wife. Your helper is they are different. So the church you go to, the word of God that, that download inside of you have programmed you. So if you don't actually know the inside of this word of God, you'll get confused. It's not everybody. Okay, that is why everybody is making some mistakes. Any girl that come around that says, mm, Put up for your love. Say, is my company help me? Will you help me back? It's not for your love. No! You may fall in love, but she or he is not good for what? Marriage. <laughs> please, second to the last question, please. Last question, please. Stand on, go. Let me rest. I'll be teaching this morning. Please, Lord. Speak up, speak up. Okay. Why is that? Um, speak up, speak up. My first question is this. Let's say, for example, now, I'm, in, I'm dating, and my boyfriend went and said, Okay. And I found out. Okay. Then in his mind. Use your mind, use your mind. They're not hearing you. Then in his mind. Okay. He like, say, say that, okay, that does do better, buy us some things. Okay. okay. But if I say plus, but if I do the same thing, okay. Yeah, see, if the whole house to collapse. Yes. Why do they ask? Okay. And my second question goes like this. Okay. Most parents, they always say that I should have married from that state. Eh? Most parents. Yes. They always say that I should have married from that state. Okay. And Part of our teaching this morning. Mm. If you say that I can't marry from our state. Other states. states. You are not in church this morning. Please, let's sit down. Sit down. These questions are the two questions are big. And I must tell you the gospel truth. So in case when you grow up, you see somebody that also tell you the same truth. Remember. How can a man cheat? House will not cast fire. And a woman will cheat. House will cast fire. Who is the head? Cheating is not good, but let us answer it because of the question. The head has right to do whatever they will do. What? No, now listen to me now. Okay. Hey, hey, I come up for us now. Go marry now. And go bring another woman. <laughs> Abby, I cheated. And you are angry, you left. I will bring the woman that I cheated in. And you will go now. Okay, she not lie for you. Okay, she not say, eh, it's not good. Eh, let's keep. Ah, my dear, I'll tell you the gospel truth. If your boyfriend cheats, eh, you still love him. Pet him not to cheat again. What if he continues? Continue to talk. Is, is your boyfriend a bee? Not your husband yet. Uh huh. You, you have the right. Wait. Eh? You don't. Do it. I are you talking about husband and wife or boyfriend and girlfriend? Boyfriend and girlfriend, you have right to leave. You have right to quit that relationship. Because the man will continue like that. But if he's married, just be it open. Now your prayer point starts. That the man will change. So that tomorrow, you will enjoy your marriage. But there are some men, listen, I'm not, I'm not going to deceive you. There are some men, even though they cheat on their wife, they still take care of their wife better. Hallelujah. You get that now. So it's your wife. But if you say my husband cheats, you carry your carrier or gun, madam, go. Or other person go enter. Now, now. So get it on a bad boy. <laughs> <It's> <laughs> in tradition, okay? In tradition, man have right to marry two, three. But to Christians, we say one wife, one woman. <laughs> so if your husband is cheating, your husband, not your boyfriend. If your boyfriend, you have right to break up. But your husband, keep on praying. Then the last question, the second question said, uh, 
uh, tribe. I teach it here life this morning. Your mother or your father, they tell you, don't marry from Isoko has reasons. Principalities is already operating in that domain. That is not demon, that is not witch. Principality is already working in that domain. If you marry outside Isoko, if you are a mother marry a woman from Benin, from Igbo, from any other tribe, that, ma that woman may not put to bed. You may not put to bed. Or the woman will die. If you are a woman, you are Isoko, and your mother says you must marry from Isoko, you marry from that tribe. Who have seen any woman that married after six months, the woman died. Marry again. Marry again, after six months, the man died. Yes. There are some tradition. You don't go outside that tradition. That is where principality comes. Sir? <laughs> that is where principality comes. Principalities are not demon. Those are the power of Okay, let me help you with this. Junior Pope. Abi, she don't die. Eh? According to the story I've, I've gathered now, in that river you don't do any harm. You don't do any harm. There are things you must not do in that river. But when he was going, do you know even when he was still drowning, he may be shouting the name of Jesus. Abi, that's our logo, that's our helper. But you don't help him. But one stupid man was there, I don't like him, I hate that man. If I see that guy, I go slap him. That guy is a very stupid man. He they go, he poor waiting. Father for, for your mind now, demon. But when all of the entire I do it in. Yes. There are some territories you don't, you don't enter. If your mom is telling you don't marry these people, he's telling you don't enter that territory. There is a, there is a, 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 a prince governing this our territory. They don't allow any other territory. I posted a video two days ago. People were on top of water. They were shouting, um, um, Jesus power, there was a super power on top of water. Jesus power, super power, hey, Jesus power. I would like the guy that was on blue. He just like this. Jesus power, super power, but that, power. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. For your mind now, they are Christian. Are we? Fight the shout, powerless power. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, <laughs> so, so, last month, a man, a young man went to the river. He was pouring river and uh, Ogogoro and said, uh, hey, Mama, water, you have no power. I've been mean, only for yourself with the guy they use. Who have watched that video? That the, uh, is the alcohol? The ocean or the Mama, water, whatever they call themselves, came up with speed, hit the guy down, pieces the guy body. There are territories you don't, you don't, you don't uh, penetrate. One, there is principalities. God bless you. You are not in the church this morning. Go and watch the video online. And I send you the video. I send you the video. Jesus did not give us his name to cast principalities. He gave us his name to cast demons. And in Ephesians chapter 6, he told us, he said, we are not fighting against flesh and blood, but against we have to do it in. This time we are not casting. Let me quickly ask you very fast. When Jesus was in the ministry, he saw demons, he cast the right. He saw the blind, he hid them. He saw this one, he drew them. Abi, should be in your Bible now. He, he do many deliverance, many miracles. But when he was coming from the desert, from 40 days and 40 nights, Bible said, demons saw him, they do what? They tremble, they ran away. But one man came, that is the prince. The prince can say, brother, I found him. I don't hear say you don't they do with my agent too. But they don't know my problem, sure. Bros, just bow down. I will give you the word. That is praise. Please don't fear in the name of Jesus. That is what now the way it is. That is why when the, the sons of Cephas, they went and go and pray. As they were praying, shout the name of he said, Hey, hold on. I know Jesus. That name I know. I know Paul. But you, who are you? Those are praise. Then when Jesus, when God find out that, yes, my son will go fit with this guy. This guy, he know what I know. Yesterday night, 
Some of us were here. Two people were in the, in the door there. They were arguing. A brother and a sister. They were at, if you see argument, the younger brother will talk to his sister. He said, shut up. The boy will say, I bet leave that thing now. And the person that will bless me say, they know them. Say, at the end, the sister says what thing? For. The priest knows you. So anything they're talking, not they hear them. When Jesus, when God found out that Jesus cannot cast out the priest, he have to do what? He have to die. Three things bear his witness. Water, blood, and spirit. And I said, when he died, after his resurrection, God now gave us his name. It is God that gave us his name. That my son, in your name, you shall be above every other name. Now, the question now is this. Whosoever that is born again is a new, all other thing. You are now a born again. But we are still sinning. Are you born again? <laughs> That's the question now. Are you born again? To cast the prince? You are still under the law. The Bible said, once the foundation is broken, what can the righteous do? What? Whosoever they break the edge, the serpent to do what? The prince, they are legal entity. They have rights to do whatever they like. God gave them permission, like he said. God gave them authority. Prince cannot come to you if you don't enter their territory. No, they don't come. But demon can come to you to look for your trouble. But prince don't move. Prince give order. They don't move at all. If prince can hold angel, when one go give that name, blessing, who will not go feel who? Bible says you hold angel, holy blessing. <laughs> you not go heaven, you not go down. <laughs> Daniel did a shout. <laughs> God said, Daniel did a talk. Which he have, I don't send no blessing. And Bible says, God have to see. And say that there are prince of darkness holding the blessing. You have to send one man. Call who? Angel Michael. Go beat him. Go and beat him. Go and, that small boy. Go beat him over there. Are you understanding me? In the name of Jesus can bind and cast out principalities and power. But are you under the law? Are you under that grace that will use it? Yeah, that's the question. Who is under that grace and that law? Is it you that will buy something uh, 100 naira and sell it 1 million naira to make gain? Who is under that law and that grace? Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Sir, I so much like your question, sir. My answer, not my question. I know they ask question. <laughs> okay, your answer, rather. Yes. Um, Daddy, yes, you sir. are right to. Principalities and power. You must totally, totally submit. If you read First John 5, verse 16, you will say, it says, whosoever that is of God that is not sinning, you can cast out. But if you say you are in God, you are still sinning. You don't have that power. Yes. Give a mic. Uh -huh. No, online. Never believe online, no. Uh -huh. Okay. Use your mic now. I'll be not going strength. <laughs> Yes. And he was saying that a Christian died inside that river. Yes. And they don't even have the right to go and bury that Christian that Yes. Died. That they have to bury that uh, yes. that Christian by the yes. river. And yes. the only yes. that a Christian for that matter is a slap for us as a Christian. Yes. Oh, I want to cry. Somebody say, Pastor, don't cry. Somebody say, Pastor, don't cry. I want to cry. Somebody say, Pastor, don't cry. You know what she said? He said it's a slap. Hello. He said it's a slap to us as a Christian. She's right. She's not right. Let me tell you, ma'am. According to my sister, there are some territories you don't enter. If you say it's a slap as a Christian, I believe you. If you are not a strong Christian, and you carry that dead body to go and bury it in your house. That dead body will waste everybody in that family. Yes. 
That's why I tell you, the church you are determine. What you hear determine. How long you have grown in spirit determine. If please you can stop them so that this is not go. If they carry that dead body and go and bury in their house, there's a problem. You have just a cure cause to the family, the whole family. Cost to the whole family. So to appease that cause, but if you are not under law, if you are not a sinner, if you are a saint, and you know, say it's not a sin, you can carry that cause. You are above the prince. But because you carry that cause, it's not my problem. Let your children never sin. That prince will come back and fulfill his law. Yes. That is why we have family bondage. Family inheritance. Let your children, your generation, never go across to any river. Or across anywhere, river gather or water gather, say you enter, you have you have invited them. And they will come to your family like as if as if you things will be happening, you'll be wondering. Yes. There's a territories you don't break. She must succeed. They won't, he know what he's saying. And you will hear some, you will hear some unmature Christians now. They will condemn him. They will say it's a lie. It's a lie. I will do it. Now lie you. A pastor went to deliverance. Three pastors went for deliverance at East. About five years ago, ten years ago, went to deliverance at East. Deliverance. They bring out the Shirai down. She ran when they don't know how it came to existence. She ran, they don't even know how it upset the village. They break it down because one person becomes semi born again. He's now a pastor. So he went to the village and break down his she ran. Four of them, don't know Italian also. Yes. The vehicle have a terrible accident. And God even helped them. They went to a private car. One of them drove. As they were coming at the red, the vehicle, eh, the Siena, pressed to the essence that you're not going to know this one bone and this one flesh. That is Prince. That is not demon. You don't, you don't enter the territory of Prince. They know you. They know what to do with you. And they say you need to enter some churches that will open your eyes or hear some teachings. They will open that. There are grades. There are levels. F.A., please, if you can give us that, you can, it's not there. So I believe let us land up from here because time has gone so far. I hope we are blessed. Yes, Put our hands together for Jesus. <laughs> and I believe if we call this same meeting next time, you will all be around, right? Today, we could not able to, I could not able to teach you several ways to make wet or wear a treasure or wet or money. Let me do what? Where money is hiding. I was about to tell you where money is hiding that both of us you don't know. I'll tell you some secrets. Why you need to? I used to tell my church member, anybody I see like they receive money for your head, money, 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 money. Yes. If you are a business guru, that go taste not only selling cement. Abi, he don't say, 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 so he don't sell it to me. <laughs> to tell you that he must wait, money must come and his cement break down. He don't make go sell, rice go sell, this one go sell. So I'm going to tell you many things how we are going to get wet. And I pray that 2025, someone here, you become a billionaire. Yeah. Don't just be going to church, the man of God will be shouting, you are blessed and you have nothing to offer. Bible says, I will bless the hand of the work of your what? Yeah. Of your hand. Bless the work of your hand. Every day you went to church, the power said, In the name of Jesus, you are blessed. You go home. Poverty, the same thing. Every year, every year. 
But if he starts producing pure water and he said, In the name of Jesus, you are blessed, you'll be very surprised. Under a month, you'll be producing 20 bags, 30 bags, 100 bags. I might tell somebody here. So by next month, by God's grace, we are still going to organize a seminar like this in a bigger way. And I want you to be around. I'll be unleashing some things one after the other. Tell you some secrets of life in relationship, in marriage, in business. And everything. God bless you all in Jesus' name. Amen. I should hand up. Let's turn our feet. Say, Lord, thank you for this great meeting. Just appreciate him. Say, Lord, thank you. Appreciate him. Appreciate him. Say, Lord, thank you for this great meeting. Appreciate him. Say, Lord, thank you for your servant you have used. Thank you for I that have listened, I have learned. There is nobody here that will say, I never learned. It's a lie. We have learned so much. Today. We have learned so much. Thank you for this servant that you have used this evening. Appreciate God. And thank you for all that you have God. to him. Appreciate Father, God. Appreciate God. For your wonderful Appreciate day. God. Appreciate God. Appreciate you, O Lord, for being there Amen. for us. In Jesus' name we are praying. Amen. 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 Yes, sir. And there is somebody I want us to celebrate. She is a shy person. She was supposed to give a speech. She's a shy person. She went to go and hide and said that I don't want to talk about it. No other person that our youth president, Sister Choma, please, Sister Choma, will you comfort, comfort, comfort. Sister Choma, comfort. Let her appreciate it. Nobody knows you are super comfort now. Daddy, I can't put you to her, bottle her, bottle her, bottle her. This evidence, youth. President, somebody celebrate her for me. <laughs> and also the second person, that one is not shy. That one is uh, Jesus Aguru, Radika Aguru. The vice president is Mr. Brother Effie. Somebody celebrate it for me. <laughs> celebrate it for me. Please step forth your hands to them. Say, Lord, bless them. They organize this program for you to come. Say, Lord, bless them. Lord, empower them. So by next month, they will organize more better one than this. Say, Lord, bless them. So by next month, a bigger one will be coming. Lord, protect them. Lord, empower them. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Sister and brother, we pray for you. God empower you. Amen. God protect you. Amen. You will not die. Amen. You will not fall at others. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. God will help you to finish well. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. By this time next month, God will give you grace to organize. Amen. So shall it be. Amen. Jesus name, I have decreed. That it, as they go, I pray Lord that I go with every one of us. Amen. I cover every one of us the pressure blood of Jesus. Amen. Cover the high with the pressure blood of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Abba Father. In Amen. Jesus' name, we have the creed. Amen. Amen. Let's share the grace of fellowship. Surely, Tobo Shatri, Tobo Shatri, I want to go. Please just have your seat. Let them give you.